Welcome back to Abel's OHRRPGs. Um, sorry for the delay, I've been sick. Also sorry for the uh, clacky keyboard. Um, I have uh, my mic on my headset just stopped working, so I'm gonna have to use my other one, and it picks up the keyboard quite a bit, so I'll try not to tap it too hard, but anyway, today we are, whoops. Today we are going to continue my look at Final Quest, where we left off last time, which was just before uh, Roland and Dace were going to enter uh, Gloomy Glade. No, we are in Gloomy Glade. We're going to enter uh, the Groove, that's right, which is this den of tro Trox, and it's been a while. Okay. So, here's the first dungeon of the game, and uh, I'm pretty proud of it as far as I remember. But let's see how good it actually is. <coughs> Ooh, I like those burning skulls. Alright. Okay, we got a phoenix feather in case we need to revive our allies. Also, I can't remember if these uh, borders were on here before, but I ended up adding them to the game because they're pretty cool. Oh, he already learned that, right? Oh, I kept the cog, yeah. There's quite a few things that need to be fixed. Okay, let's go through this dungeon and see what we got here. Oh, okay, this is supposed to be... Oh, dang it, I should have taken away those placeholders. Okay, so basically this is one of those dark areas. Ah, and you can tell that these are trocks. Yeah, see, but then they're in the darkness, but you can't attack them because it's dark, so we'll keep going out. Oh man, I'm really low on hit points already. It's probably not a good time to... Well. Alright, here's some normal trucks here. Oh boy, this is not going to go well. Adrenaline. Oh, okay, that helps quite a bit. Um, and in that case, I'm going to backstab Roland, steal some life. <laughs> Let's see if I can just farm this health for a little bit. That's so funny. I, I never, I didn't realize this combo until now. <clears throat> okay, at least kill that flame spicker. Oh, okay. Alright, that one's it's still doing quite a bit of damage, but I guess we could do uh hmm. Alright, I'll just do it down one more time and call it good. Okay, so that flame spicker thing, that's my um language, you know, making language dialects thing again. Uh, basically the way that uh, Trox talk is all their T's are replaced by K's. So that's flame spitter, flame spicker. Okay, we got, oh, yeah, wasn't there something last time about the uh, trading in Trox skulls? That would be kind of nice. Chainmail. Oh, I don't, I didn't know I had that. All right, so there's some steel chainmail. Don't have anything for that, or, uh, oh wow, it's a pretty good gold ring too. And, uh, oh yeah, the Grey Crown armor is bad apparently. Dirk shoes, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, you know what, let's move Dace out, because when Roland's in the front of the party, he gets that health bonus, that's right. Or not health bonus, um, after every attack I think he heals everybody a little bit. Okay, we got a locked door here. Oh, does that mean I can pick it though? Nope, that's an oversight as well. Because that's professed to be one of uh, Dace's like, actual abilities, but... Ooh, combo. Because crit, combo, and devastate. Hey, they leveled up. Does that mean I get all the way healed? Yes! Okay, that'll make things a lot easier. Alright, that's dark as well. And those 
outlines really bother me. Okay, oh, all right, we, we've reached some kind of hub. <laughs> Sound that. Live, Scorpion! That's funny, I like that. Ew, it's a crunchy noise for it hardening its shell, apparently. I guess let's do so. Let's try burning it. Oh boy. I'm uh, poisoned here. Uh, let's go ahead and do, add some bleeding damage to that. Oh, never mind. Oh, it had a human death noise, but. I guess I should probably start writing these bugs down so I can fix them. Let's see, we got scorpion death noise. least, you know, at least on that locked door say something about this is the weirdest lock I've ever seen or something if you're Dace. Bone, that's funny. Of course that they would put bones in a treasure chest as if they were like worth something. Alright, got some flying trucks. An attack that never misses, that's kind of fun. Uh, let's kind of do poison I guess. Chop its wings off. Yeah, if you do physical damage or maybe it's slashing damage, you slash its wings off. We'll try it. Oh, never mind. They're really like fast and annoying. I guess that's the way they're supposed to be, but. Troc skull. All right, that'll be useful, I guess. Maybe get some money. Oh, another oh, phoenix feather. That's nice. A bone club. How powerful is that? Ooh, it's a lot more strength at only a fraction of the uh, a very low penalty to accuracy and speed. I'll definitely take that. All right, let's go. Kind of picking the left way every time. All right, we got a gold lock. Probably the boss lair. Troc Helm. Huh. That's kind of a annoying penalty. I don't know why everything has to have a penalty on this game. It's kind of annoying, but I'll wear it. Why not? Defense is good. Was this music different from the other ones? <laughs> Club's pretty nice, though. What's this? Why I played a different noise? Emerald, huh? Oh, emerald elf currency. Okay, cool. So I, I added that as a uh, yeah a way to unlock the emerald elf place. That's pretty cool. Might as well save my game. It's locked, of course. Um, okay, I see we can push these, but where does this go? Uh, okay, that's another place like that that's too dark. You probably see where this is going with the whole darkness aspect. Uh, I'm thinking, you know, Zelda-style dungeons. So, Okay, this is where I'm kind of investing in the future of this game. So that's written on the wall. Um, oh, okay, in, in runes, in Norse runes, that says the Groob. So that's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you can come back here with Solmer, the uh, wizard, and he will be able to read that and get a spell from it. Okay, just notice now the doorways have like either shadow on them or light, so shadow probably means it's a dark place. Found a key, okay. So now let's go back. I feel like the battles aren't frequent enough to make this place dangerous. Like, I'm just kind of going from room to room and it doesn't even really matter. Key doesn't fit in this lock? <laughs> yes, it does. Have to fix that. Alright. Oh, okay. Get out, get out of our groove. Yeah, see the K's sort of replacing the uh, T's. Let's just do it, yeah. Yeah, they t 
attack like twice for every one time you do, which is really annoying. We'll just do ambush, why not? Ah, cool. So you, you teleport, so that's kind of fun. Am I not getting SP? Okay, I am. That's good. Oh, I haven't done pickpocket very much. Stole a healing potion? Wow. I should have been doing that earlier. Um, might as well do adrenaline. And venom strike. Why not? Killed it. Alright, alright. We've got some piles of garbage here. And then I think these are chalk beds, they're just slabs of stone. Crit. I wonder if this game would be more fun as a turn-based game. I think I last time debated about that, but I don't know. Okay, still can't go down there. Ah! Now this appears to be a mini boss of some kind. That looks like an error, a graphical error right there with his uh, at his feet, but oh, okay, so can I just sneak around him? Ah, uh, <laughs> whoa -ho, the little human thinks he can kick on the champion of the trucks. The champion accepts your challenge. Kra! All right, so here's the truck champion mini boss. Not bad graphics for a stick figure, if I do say so. Uh, let's pick pockets. Er, that's it. Oh. Alright, well, let's build up some rage here. Leap into the air. Let's get some bleeding damage going on, I think. Oh, okay, I need a bide now. I haven't done yet, but he has to buy just to get his energy back. Let's get some fire damage going on there. Uh, let's see. I'll just keep slicing. Get some more bleeding down. Evasion. Oh crap, he just did 102 damage. That's not good. Jeez, why has he been healing himself if he can do that much damage? He might be in a rage right now. Oh gosh, this is bad. Don't kill me, don't kill me. Phoenix Feather. No! Oof. Alright. Yeah, he's really powerful. Okay, so I guess I need to uh, increase the. Uh, Increase the um, my dodge a little earlier than that apparently because that's it's rough. All right, let's go back. Yeah, I don't even know if the foe map is on in these areas because I'm not running into any enemies. I have to look into that. Oh, this time they, uh, <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny, you can see them chasing me ever so slowly. Alright, you know what, I'm just gonna, Ah, oh, you got me. Alright, I don't think I had leveled up before I, um, oh, okay, it is slashing and stabbing damage that uh, knocks their wings out, which makes sense, I guess bludgeoning wouldn't somebody's wings off, but... Alright. Gotta remember where all these dark areas are, because obviously that lantern is what lights the areas. Okay, uh... How's our, um... Ugh, bad on hit points. Uh, I if we could level up before we go. I guess I should have asked, should check my experience, but I think their wings, I 
think their wings make them more quick and annoying, so it's probably good to chop those off. I like uh, how I added some like tactics on this game. It's makes it pretty fun. Oh, what am I doing? I got a pickpocket. If I can get some good stuff, oh, I'll miss. Okay. Oh, we got some gold though. In. All right, yeah, these healing potions are gonna be useful. I should just farm some. I feel like that's a bad idea on my part to uh, let such weak enemies drop healing potions. There's another one. I don't know. Are they not, are they not even good healing potions though? How much do they heal? I wonder. Guess we'll find out. Got eight of them. 63? Yeah, that's really good. That's a uh, design flaw for sure, giving basically unlimited hit points. Okay, well, how much experience? 292? I can't remember how... Okay, let's get into one more battle, we'll see how much experience you get. From a typical single uh, creature. Wait, might as well steal another health potion from it. Oh, out of, uh, might as well just do battle rage, why not? Oh, that's why it was doing so much damage. Okay, because it was using battle rage over and over again and its, um, <laughs> its strength went through the roof. That's why it went through so much, took so much damage last time. Alright, let's do Adrenaline, and then we'll just go ahead and kill it. Alright, 20 experience. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill like 100 more of these things. We'll just uh, use some heals. Okay, so I guess we just need to up our evasion or something, because that was. It did a ton of damage this time, so. Alright, so first let's. Well, I can't help but pickpocket it. Okay, oh, or that's not very good. Um, okay, you just wail on it. Dace, you need to do evasion. Okay, yeah, so you just got 35 strength, which is bad. Um, I guess just attack it at this point. And then Roland maybe do defend once. I'll do slice once just to get some bleeding damage done. Maybe arson. Healing potion. Oh crap. Almost died from that one. Okay, crit's good. Let's see if we can get a combo going. Just keep eating your healing potions. I like that uh, horn, like that... Ooh, we got a combo. I like the uh, the very front horn on that Troc champion. It's got a nice... Oh, there it goes. Ooh, 400 experience. Ooh, I learned Sunder, which I believe lowers their armor. Found a tooth. Claim our prize, the lantern. Now you can see in dark areas as long as you've got it equipped. So that's the um, downside of this item. You have to equip it in your offhand. And if you're holding a lantern, swinging it around while you have a sword, it lowers your accuracy and agility, but increases your special a little bit, so that's pretty nice. I'll have Dirk, I mean Dace the Dirk, wield it, I guess. His, his accuracy and agility are all really high anyway. Okay, now we got the lantern. So let's investigate some dark areas. Uh, okay, so the areas that are blue are the ones that are dark. Oh, there's even some torches on the walls that aren't lit. I like that, it's a nice touch. Me named Cliff. Knock like to fike. We like shiny things. You have gold? Ah. Cliff's scuff. I got it. 
stuff. Okay, cool. A little, uh... Oh, he sells teeth, bone, and human skulls. That's adorable. Um, okay, so the way that the human skull works is... <laughs> that's probably for Zane, who's the creepy warlock, and it's an offhand thing that increases his resistance and mana, so makes sense. Um, I'm good on healing potions. I don't know what these are for. I guess crafting. I can sell him some bones. I don't think I need bones. It's funny that he'll buy Troc skulls. Um, yeah, none of these are worth really anything, so... Oh, I guess I could, I'm done with these, though. Alright. And these are... Sleeping trucks, I gotcha. Okay, it's kind of fun. Let's go investigate some other dark areas. Oh, great, it's locked apparently. Um, picked the lock and found a sapphire amulet. Alright, very cool. Yeah, the AI on determining whether something has a lock or whether it's or whether you have a key to open the lock, or whether Dace is there to pick it. Yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying. All right, Sapphires increase special and resistance by 2015. Wow. All right, let's... Let's go ahead and uh, switch that for the Sapphire. Hmm. So the gold ring increases kind of everything by a little bit. I, I don't. I guess I'll just have base. I can't remember what his special does. Does it increase like poison damage and stuff? Whatever. We'll go ahead and keep that on him for now. Once we get Salmer the Mage, I'm sure that'll be a lot more powerful for him. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and save here. Oh wait. I think that place over here is. Oh, no. Oh, okay. So that was a dark passage, but it led to the uh, opening. Nice. It's like on Skyrim, where you <laughs> you go all the way around, uh, and then it leads back to the opening for an easy entrance. So, all right, what do we got here? All right. So I find it interesting that these battles are in the dark but I apparently have a lantern. So I think in that case, my level of detail almost backfired a little bit. Like at least maybe I should have shown, um, you know, a circle of light around the adventurers maybe. But I don't know. I, I almost don't think that even needs a separate uh, battle thing. Oh. Hmm, some truck skulls here. It's like a burial ground? Hmm, not really worth the foray in my opinion. Oh, new enemy here, some slimes. It's <laughs> a funny sound effect. Ah, these sound effects are bad. I can't wait to update these with just like actually good ones. I guess everything is just kind of a placeholder on this, though. All right, knock those wings off. Ooh, that fire damage does a lot when everything else is just super, uh, kind of lame. Days and keep exploring these dark areas. Have I looked here yet? Nope. Ooh. Uh, oh, these are harm tiles. Interesting. So I think to use the least amount of healing. I wonder how much damage it does. Obsidian shield? Don't mind if I do. Why does everything have to have penalties? 
Yeah, less accuracy and agility, but your special and defense goes up. I wonder if I get resistance to, like, fire damage or something? Strong to blade, strong to fire? Weak to shock? Why am I weak to shock? Oh, because of my armor? Oh boy, that's really annoying. Well, let's see how much these harm tiles do. I hope that's at least balanced and significant. Uh, so I have 224 hit points. Oh, yeah, that, that does about 15 damage or something. The gold key, alright. All right, flame spigger. Okay, we got the gold key. In other words, the boss key. Are there any other places, though, that I've missed with the uh, dark areas? Probably not. I mean, I feel like there's quite a few already. Let me check in here real quick. Okay, that's just the stairs. This was the locked room. And I already looked down here, right? Yeah. Alright. Yeah, overall, uh, an interesting dungeon, I guess. Pretty impressed. Alright, let's go ahead. Save and fight the boss. How's everybody doing? Probably could use a couple of healing potions. Oh, I still have that key. Yeah, that def that iron key definitely didn't work, so. Keep forgetting to remove those items. Oh. Fine. Finish it off and let's get this. Alright. Let's go ahead and save one more time. Now we're all healed, and let's move forward. Unbelievable. So the first time it says your key does not fit in this lock and it opens, and this time it says door open and it doesn't open. Seriously? Alright, well, we will use the uh, debug to walk through walls. Oh, I really gotta fix that. That's really annoying. Alright. Oh, and here is the Troc Queen of whom we've heard so much about. She could use some more animation, I think. Kra, little human has made his way into Inku Troc. Wait a second. They're called Trocs, but they replace their K, the T's with K's, except for the initial T? Maybe that's because it makes a Troc sound? I don't know. But... Troc Queen's Lair. Troc Queen has been craving man flesh a very long time. Come forward, pray. Alright, here we go. Whoa, that's pretty creepy. Uh, Alright, well, we gotta see what it can give us, right? Oh, Grey Crown Plate Armor. Don't mind if I do that. Ooh, creepy. Uh, let's go. Oh, sure, damage enemy defense. Uh, it doesn't seem to. Let's just get some DOTs going on here. It's burning seems to do well. Can you attack its arms? Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, so this one seems to slam and the other one seems to uh, scratch. Ooh, that was a big bite there. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Let's just light all its limbs on fire. Good boss music. Ooh, it's stunned. That's not good. Gotta get some healing potions going on here. Did I already burn the other arm? Oh boy. I want to kill one of the arms. I want. That would be funny. Oh, there goes one of them. It crumbled. And I'll slice the other one to bleed. Come 
Come on, I want to. I want to devastate. Come on, Dace. Yeah, I want to. Let's cut off both of its arms first. We might as well cripple it. Oh, oh there we go. All right. Oh crap. Not good. He's almost dead. Alright. That fire attack isn't very accurate. Alright, for Grey Crown! Oh boy, that bleeding damage is terrible. Uh. Okay, that was good, but how do I stop the bleeding? There's gotta be a way. Light on fire again. Is that oh it's T that reduced that um cures bleeding. I didn't bring any. I don't know if I had enough money back then. Okay, we just gotta attack. Um there should be an attack where it just does like Extra, like a double strike. Like, I feel like that would be a good warrior attack to just sort of use up your rage on if you didn't have anything else to do it on. Now we just gotta attack and hope it, hope it does, uh, or I guess leap maybe? Come on! Kill it! Ooh, that one actually hit. I don't know what else to do at this point. Um, I guess I better do an adrenaline and then just keep attacking and using my rage to feel the adrenaline. But yeah, this game definitely doesn't feel like it has um, a very fulfilling. Um... Oh, there it goes. Bled to death. Or burned to death or something. Whew, okay, well, <clears throat> not bad, but yeah, I feel like, I feel like both um, characters could use a more kind of go-to ability to use with their SP. We have taken the Chalk Queen's head. Oh, does that mean I can crawl into its space here? The Troc Sword. How powerful is that? Oh, very powerful. A sword guarded by ancient Trocs. Okay, well, uh, oh yeah, the Grey Crown Armor. Yeah, Plate Mail, it makes sense that it has a little bit of a penalty, but I think that's fine. And uh, was there something else? All right, well, that's it for the group. Let's go ahead and crawl out here. Wait, what? Did that always lead there? Or did that open up a new area? Interesting, okay, well. Okay, well, let's return to uh, Dirk, Dirkland, is that what it is? And, uh, can um, claim our reward. Be kind of cool if uh, after you defeated the Troc Queen, the Trocs didn't attack you anymore. That'd be pretty easy to program. Alright, I hope that I have... <laughs> okay, this is almost not even worth trudging back this way, even though geographically it's closer to Dirkland. Dirkenshire? That's what it is, Dirkenshire. Maybe once I get out of this shady area, it'll, it'll stop attacking me. Oh, I didn't even notice uh, Roland's sword. How does that look now? Oh, cool. Yeah, it's like a sword that has a troc sort of flair to it. Does that mean that they... 
made the sword out of themselves? That doesn't make sense. Oh, they're still attacking me. Come on. Guys, I'm sorry for killing your queen. I needed to do it to uh, further the plot, okay? It's nothing personal. Uh, now we got some lizard folk here to deal with and serpents. That is a cool trog sword, though. One thing I'm doing uh, as I update Wormy uh, with my friend, which is a lot of fun, is I make all the melee attacks do the dash animation. Oh, Dacelearn Throwing Dagger. Okay, so that's a projectile attack. like it. Anyway, the dash in makes it clear who's attacking and stuff, because it's kind of annoying when they just twitch and then you see a quick animation on, on you and stuff. All right, killed some furnace imps. Oh, that's kind of kind of funny. Looks a lot like the earth elemental from uh, what's it called? Uh, Heroes of Might and Magic Two. Man, he's comboing like crazy on this thing. Do it again, so you can get a devastate. Okay, what are the odds of that? I comboed three times in a row, and I haven't comboed that much throughout the entirety of the group. That's... that's weird. 450 experience? Okay, that was half as much as the entire Troc Queen. Pay good money for every Troc head you can collect. Okay, that's funny that I can talk to him at the top of the tower. It's probably not, uh... Probably not, uh, intentional. Okay, uh, alright, yeah, these are worth 20 gold from him. What about teeth? No? Sell the chainmail. Uh, okay, I didn't bother to program a door on the edge. I probably should worry about that eventually. All right, back in Darkenshire. Looks like he's meeting me personally, even though Roland's in front. You did it. I don't believe it. The Trox will be soon be decimated thanks to you, Prince Roland. I will take the head. I will take the oh to the head to the Geddon's chamber immediately. You give the queen's head to Gion. All right, but uh, what about my money? Oh, I guess I can go in now. You have proven yourself worthy. You may see the Geddon. I wonder where I got the word Geddon from. It's kind of cool. Ah, there's the truck's head up on the wall. It's a shame that it's not centered though. It's kind of gonna bother me. Trot Queen's head mounted on display in the Grand Fort itself. We shall have a public viewing for all the dirks. How big was that thing, and how did you carry its head all the way from the group? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> all right, Sir Geddon. Oh, wow, he is very old. Well, it was you who defeated the Twak Queen, was it? I give you my personal thanks and declare you, Woland, an honorary member of the Dork people. Wow, the <laughs> great Geddon has an Elver Fudd accent. I noticed you allowed him to be sent off alone, my lord. You re realize this was a risk to our ally. Silence, the Geddon speaks to the prince. Since you did this awesome feat all by yourself, we award you with this money. 500 gold, okay. Now then, for what purpose have you come to talk to me? We seek the portal core... Oh, he's not a silent protagonist. Interesting. We seek the portal core to the Grey Crown Mage's Guild. Do you know where it is? Ah, uh, the portal core. My spies do have information concerning its whereabouts, but alas, it is in a dangerous location. It was taken by the Twaks. That's funny. Okay, I can't do that anymore. In the middle of the night, past the cave, west of the Quathwoads, to the Badlands. <laughs> That's so funny. I would be glad to assign one of my woads to a fifth dew. With your permission, my lord, I volunteer to help the prince. I am skilled in espionage and subtlety, and sure I can... Dang it, that's a cutoff. 
I should probably just generally go through all the text boxes like that. I'm sure I can do it or something. Dace the Half-Blood, how dare you interrupt your... No, it's all right. I accept you off on Dace. It is less trouble for me, and you are not a resident of Durkensile. So it is no responsibility of mine that you die. I meant there are a lot of trouble to write down this phonetic pronunciation. <laughs> Begin quest to the Badlands. You are dismissed, and thank for the beautiful wall ornament. You're welcome, Sir Ken. Okay, so we got money, and uh, we got, I guess, permission to go to the Badlands? That doesn't really make sense, but I can't believe it was you who killed the Troc Queen. I saw her enormous head mount from again the wall. Welcome, Honorary Dirk. Oh, yeah, I forgot that that makes me an Honorary Dirk. Nice work, Grey Crowner. We may yet win the War of the Trocs with your help. Probably. Is there any more way that the Trocs can even reproduce them? Okay, back to the crossroads. Go ahead and save this here. How's our status? Pretty bad. Is there an inn in this? Why is there no inn in the crossroads? I feel like there should be. Okay, uh... Did I not have a quest? Hmm. I'm gonna just talk to... what's his name? Rayoff? Oh wait, never mind. I'm still on his quest, which is to get the portal core. So, um... Okay, so the Trox took the core, and then they took it to the Badlands? Is that what he said? Okay, this makes sense. So basically, um... This was blocked because it was dark, but now that I have the lantern, we can move this way to the battle. Uh-oh. Did I already, was I already a here? Did I already loot this place? This does look a little familiar. Okay, this time I'm going to burn the webs off of that prisoner instead of accidentally kill him. <laughs> oh, oh dear burning alive. Um, okay, that's a glitch for sure. Oh, oh, the screams of pain. <laughs> like, ah. Okay, just, just kill him. Put him out of his misery. Oh, that was horrifying. <laughs> I did not mean for that to happen. I feel like last time, though, I killed him. Like, I, I straight up killed him with the my sword. I thought you had to burn it off of him. Okay, well, I'll definitely fix that later. Bats. Classic. Ugh, more man death noises with these guys. Uh-oh, I got rabies. I'm poisoned. Okay, here's the Badlands. Hmm, I kind of like that, uh, that dead grass sort of feel. Ooh, we got a dried up well here. Some bones, some of those interesting rocks with mineral layers on them. A bridge to a desert, apparently. Man, these graphics are bad. I, I understand why I had to do it that way, but man, it's painful in the eyes. What do we got here? Oh, oh my, we got a, a, a wyvern here. Air and does a diving attack and missed. Ooh, yeah, that must be its normal attack. Okay, uh, well, I guess I'll just. Oh, wow, now I'm running into stuff? Oh, I love seeing these enemies Cyclops and little goblins. Oh, devastate! That was fun. He's gonna throw a really big rock at me, isn't he? Yeah. Definitely has a Heroes Two vibe to it with all these enemies, which is kind of interesting. And for you know, for good reason. 
I do love Heroes of Might and Magic. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wander around here. Oh, Brigand. It's fun to deal with. Ooh, he comboed on me. Okay, I need to uh, do pickpocket more often because... Might be some good stuff. Ah, another empty treasure chest over there. Oh, interesting. A proto-troc. <laughs> I gotcha. That's actually very weird, if you think about it. A proto-troc? I mean... That's like seeing a, like, a human being... Imagine if there was, like, a human, uh... Walking around on four legs. I like that though. That's interesting. Oh yeah, an empty treasure chest. That's not good. Okay, it's these are these enemies are not like difficult. Okay, here we go. We got a, a an abandoned place. An old abandoned building, a perfect hideout for the trucks to hide the core. I still can't figure out why they would do Ugh, got cut off again. Do something though. Oh, and they run out. Masker said not to let any orcs. Orcs? Down? You look like orcs. You die. Okay. Might as well steal a healing potions from them. Sometimes he starts with, with uh, rage and sometimes he doesn't. It's kind of frustrating. Do you know who I am? I killed your queen. Counter, okay, interesting. Ravage, I wonder what that is. No offense, Prince, but you're not the quietest when you try to sneak around. I think I should go down there by myself. Something, something that got cut off. Ah, so frustrating. All right, so um, now I'm just Dace. I still haven't got that core back, but do you want to meet up for a bit? Maybe go get supplies? Okay, that's kind of cool mechanic that I made. All right, so here we go. Uh, isn't, shouldn't there be like a statue of time for this part to save the game? Okay, good. Here we go. It's a statue of time. Oh, might as well write this one. Okay, so now we're in the next dungeon here. What in the name of... What are the war monks doing here? I thought the trucks were behind this. If I can sneak past them, maybe I can walk out of here without a fight. It's a good thing war monks are blind. Alright, so we got these blindfolded monks here. This is an interesting mechanic. I don't think I've seen this in a RPG up until this point, like where you actually have to sneak past. I kind of want to fight them too, though. I'll probably get the chance to fight them later. got up here. This is an interesting, I like kind of the layered aspect of this where, you know, it doesn't have doors that go to a, you know, fade out and back into a different place. It's just rooms that are sort of layered like a map. Well, a heal three potion and swift boots. Ugh, more penalties. But it does increase my agility and speed by quite a bit, which is what I want in this dungeon, at least. Okay, I, I can't help but talk to this guy. What? Who's there? Please don't kill me. I won't call for help, I promise. Where is the portal core? Just keep heading down the stairs. It's in the portal room. Portal room? What the devil's going on? I don't know anything else. That's why the master hired us, because we're blind and don't know what he's up to. Please, just go. You're freaking me out. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm impressed that I came up with this, like, story, because I usually cannot come up with anything. Like, like seriously, like, the, the, you know, the whole blind aspect. Maybe I got this from, like, Oblivion or something. I feel like some of this is reminding me of something off of Oblivion. Razor knife. I'm liking this. Bigger strength, bigger accuracy. Maybe different combos. That's kind of the idea I had for, uh days so okay I want to read those papers so I'll let them pass here oh come on seriously that's lame oh, oh no I don't 
think that's gonna work if I sneak past him that way because I'm gonna brush against him. So I'll just, I'll play this straight, why not? This is kind of fun to have like a stealth mesh mission on an RPG like this. I, it's an interesting puzzle aspect of it that I don't think I've had before. Okay, interesting. You know, instead of just fighting the- ooh, we got another Troc champion here. Whoa, another champion. Good thing he's asleep. I wouldn't be able to take him without the prince. Uh, was I supposed to be able to open that door? Okay, I, I distinctly remember- well, okay, let me see first. Okay, this is- Okay, this is what you're supposed to do. I don't know if you're supposed to do this first or whatever, but I remember I was really proud of this mechanic. So you approach the sleeping truck champion. He's asleep. If you do any damage to him, he wakes up and uh, beats the crap out of you, right? So instead, you just pickpocket him, steal the key, and run away. Yes, I got the key. Now to get that corn, get out of here. So, yeah, that was supposed to open the door, I guess, but anyway. Okay, what are these symbols on the wall? Obviously they're creeping me out. Oh, all right, so this here is a portal. Where's the core? Were they expecting to steal another one and open it? Who's behind this? And this writing doesn't look good. Oh, okay, we got more runes here that are all creepy and bleeding. Let me read them just for the fun of it. It says, uh, um, I'll, Shall all shall perish. Ooh, creepy. If only we'd brought a wizard with us. Looking for something? <laughs> Thought you could just sneak in unnoticed, did you? Thought you could stay out of eyesight? No one gets past my gaze, man. Uh you have purple hair. <laughs> Wait, where is he? He's not he's not in the room, that's weird. What? Yeah, of course I do, but I'm talking about the portal core. You've come all this way down only to be caught by me, Draki the Farseer. I don't suppose you'll just hand it over. You know, you know it doesn't belong to you. Fat chance, you have to fight for it. What's the matter? Not what you're used to doing? Prefer to just stalk around in the shadows? Too bad. Attack him, zealot. Okay, well, from what I've learned of this battle... Ooh, that eyeball he's got is pretty bad here. Uh, I'm just gonna grab the orb. He stole the core! Kill him! And then just run away. Gotta get back to Roland. Stop the thief! And he's just slowly chasing me. Which is kind of funny. Oh uh, yeah, and then there's like one on each map, I guess. Oh, now it's a... Oh, okay, so the crit on this makes him bleed, which is interesting. It's not often that enemies do radiant damage to you on, uh, or light damage to you on a video game. Usually you're the one doing it to all the demons, but these guys are monks, so... Okay, what am I doing? I'm dying here. Gotta get out of here. Alright, might as well finish him off and then... Not, and then just keep running next time. I love that sound effect. It's from Lords of Magic. Ooh, lots of experience for those. Okay, I should uh, should make those. Um, those zealots are really cool, though. I really like their big light lances or whatever. Anyway, I should have made that monk. Uh, I guess more quick moving. Being able to run away, like, super easily is a little lame. I wonder if I should implement some kind of, uh, you know, like an ability kind of like on Final Fantasy 1 where you have to run away and then it kind of calculates your speed sort of thing. I don't know. Alright, I'll just keep running away like a pansy and... Okay, I, I did get the core though, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Elemental core used in ports. Very cool. Nah, get 
get out of there. Come this far. Up the ladder. Out we go. And then he can just move along? Anyway. Roland, I got the core, but a madman's right behind me with an army of war monks. Get ready for battle. And there he comes, Draki. But he can't get past the invisible NPCs that I have right there, which is kind of funny. Um, should we fight him? Oh boy, this is... Oh, okay, that glitch is really bad. It's the dirt in me, what can I say? Yeah, this is not supposed to happen. <laughs> um, he's gonna die big time. Very cool shadow bolts, though. Look at how he's got those shadow bolts on his uh, hand, just like a warlock from WoW. Okay, yeah, that was definitely not supposed to happen, so let's try this again. Okay, this is easy to fix. I know how to fix this in the game. Like, the reason he gets stuck right there is because there's some invisible NPCs that he can't get past. Um, so I'm just going to sneak through these walls. There we go. Ran like a rat to your big dog friend, did you? All right, here we go. Okay, I gotta try pickpocketing Draki's eye. Nope, okay. Uh, all right, well, oh shoot, this is actually gonna be really bad, so. Uh, attack five times, okay. Not bad, I guess. Ooh, yeah, I countered him from the damage that he did earlier, so that's pretty good. Uh, I guess light his eye on fire? Oh boy, this is bad. Oh, there he goes. Phoenix Feather. Hundred damage from Shadow Bolt. Okay, that is a crazy battle. A Troc Champion and two Zealots and Draki and his eye. A little much, if you ask me. Okay, let's reset the counter on that, shall we? Because that's getting annoying. All right, let's try this again. I don't even know who to focus on first. They're all way too powerful. Um, let's go ahead and focus on maybe the eye first. Maybe the, okay. Let's just focus on Draki. Let's just kill. Let's just kill Draki. Light his eye on fire, and then I'll attack his eye. Light Draki on fire. And I guess I'll just attack Draki. I'll do some countering because that does just as much damage as I did to me, which is good. Oh gosh. And I have no healing. I have one healing potion. test of this, to be honest. Oh, there he goes. It's all you, Roland. Just kill Draki. There goes Dace. My God. Gosh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, 
that. Oh, boy, that's bad. All right, let's go ahead and try one more time. Um, and if not, then, uh, you know, in, in retrospect, this is terrible game design because <laughs> the player thinks that they're succeeding. They're like, oh, cool, you know, like, I'll save my game here, but they don't realize that there's a massive battle afterwards, and if they didn't prepare with potions and stuff, they're screwed, you know? And I mean, I guess I could technically, you know, go over here or whatever, and go buy potions and come back and fight, but that's not what the intention is, and so, anyway. Okay, well, how's everybody's status? Status is good, right? Alright, I'm just gonna do war spin. Like, let's just try and kill them all at once, I guess. Oh, crap, I screwed up. There we go. Alright, so Dace is gonna do arson on everybody. And then Roland is just gonna war spin over and over again. I really want to break that stupid eye. War spin. Oh, everybody's going at once, like. Crack his eye lit on fire. Oh yeah, I forgot that arson is cheap because it doesn't have a cost. <laughs> oh well. Oh, the shadow bolts are devastating. Alright, um... Uh, another arson on Draki, and we'll do a healing potion for Roland. Only 150? It's not very good for a... Jeez! Ridiculous. Okay, break that eye. Okay, the eye flew away. We're good there. Ah, <laughs> oh, the shadow bolt is so lame. All right. Um. Okay. So there should be a way <coughs> to debug so that it just kills all the enemies. There they go. <laughs> Alright, so Draki ran away and the rest of them died, which makes sense. Found a tooth. No, 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 stop it! Oh, I hate you! Look what you've... You know what? Fine, take the stupid car. I'll get another one. You can't stop me. You'll see. Found an offhand dagger. Well, that was an interesting encounter. Probably be a good idea to report this to the king, but first let's get this... <laughs> said this core to whatever. Okay, an offhand dagger lets you uh, hit a second time, which is pretty cool. Let's go back and give this core back. Alright, let's see how... Huh, he doesn't seem to attack twice. Maybe it's a chance to attack twice? Maybe if he crits, he can attack twice. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, he attacked twice that time. Not bad. Not a bad... Uh... I wonder if this was kind of my intention to make each little dungeon kind of give the characters a chance to shine, because that was a really cool stealth dungeon for days. Oh, forgot that I unequipped the... Uh... So let's go ahead and do this again. There we go. <laughs> Dace is literally a, a bobbing, floating head because the uh, <laughs> the dark um, the dark ground is the same color as his blue body. That's funny. All right, get out of here, slimes. I don't 
like the, the crit bleeds. I feel like maybe the combo should do that, but that's not really what the fun of this is. The fun is to do more damage on the crit. Maybe the combo could do something different or interesting. And then the Devastate does something really interesting. Like in the case of the other one, it... Uh, ooh, Rampage. Uh, it does, like, throws a dagger at everybody. Okay, finally back to safety here. Let's move on back to the... Uh, let's deliver that core. Oh, I love this music. That's one thing I really like about this game is all the music choices I made. Oh, whoops, took the long way around. Why is there a path that winds? It seems unintuitive for a path. Alright, Fredicus. Good heavens, is that the core? Oh, praise the gods. No need to tell the story. Let's just get this portal up, back up and running. It works. No, it doesn't. I wonder if this is the point where I stopped. Thank heavens the core didn't lose its power during all this. I shall have to ask Archmage Astral, if there's so many heroes, three names in this, for a spare core for the meantime in case this happens again. Here, take this as your reward. It was the last thing we were able to enchant before the portals collapsed. Thanks to you, we can make many more. Amethyst Amulet. Oh, okay, so it did kind of work. <laughs> Just didn't uh, set the tag before, so. So, what is this? Uh... Oh, psh, of course I didn't actually give the amethyst thing. Oh, boy. So many terrible bugs. Alright, well, feel free to use the portal anytime, lad. It's a fast way to get to Storm Tower or the North Mountains themselves. So this unlocks a new area, or a new way to get to an area or something. And I assume, well, let's see where it goes, if anywhere. Oh, here we go. Thanks for testing Final Quest. The game's progress as of yet ends here. I hope to be able to finish the entire game someday, and by playtesting it, you've helped immensely. Thank you. All right, well. Guess that's that. Um, I don't know if there's anything else that got changed or something. I think that there's one thing that's different in the Adventures Guild, from what I can remember. So let me go see, I guess. But my idea with how wizards work is maybe like each wizards guild, there's like one for each of the elements, or like at least the elements that wizards can deal damage of, and then they get their magic from an actual realm of that elemental energy, and so I think Storm Tower was like lightning. And so you go into this world where it's just literally lightning everywhere. And you fight lightning elementals and, I don't know, something like that. But I have no idea how Salmer, the wizard, was uh, supposed to be given in the game. I don't know how the other characters are given. Okay, well, what I remember was all, what, after you finish that quest, all the people in here are gone. And it's like all the rats in the kingdom have been eradicated, and so now this Adventures Guild like runs out of business or something. I thought it was something funny like that, but I can't remember. All right, well, uh, I mean, that's that, I guess. Um, but you know, like I said in the other video, there's lots of interesting plans for this in terms of uh, the uh, you know the Emerald Elf Nation over here with the emeralds. Actually, let's just move to the uh, editor and we can kind of look behind the scenes real quick. So here we are inside the map files. Uh, so you got your Roland, got Victus, Dace. So this is Solmer, another Heroes 3 name. And his mechanics would be he has spells and then enchanting, which I don't know what that is. 
Sorcery is maybe damaging magic, and enchanting is maybe, you know, buffing, uh, you know, like haste and slow spells, maybe. Uh, he, uh, yeah, this the usual damage, I guess. I don't know. Apparently he's a little stronger against... I, I don't like these percentages. Like, they, they should come from armor, not like, natural abilities, but... Anyway, he can he can wield basically cantrips so that he deals a little bit of elemental damage per attack, so he doesn't like whack with a staff, you know? I never liked that on Final Fantasy games when casters would just you can attack and whack him with a staff or a hammer and it does like no damage, so like why even bother? So instead he just does a tiny bit of damage with his cantrips. Um he can wield like robes. I don't know what his garb is. Apparently I didn't set up the garb at all. Uh, just helmets for Roland and boots for uh, Dace. And then accessories are of course like necklaces and rings and stuff. So anyway, so that's Salmer. Uh, very classic MP based wizard. So that's Zane. He's the warlock. I really like his portrait. <laughs> I'm not gonna change that if like little if at all if I'm gonna if I uh, update the graphics because he just looks really good. So he's the creepy warlock. Uh, oh, and by the way, Solmer's passive uh, is. Oh wait, maybe, maybe there's a screen for that actually. This might actually be better than the actual. Uh, Oh, never mind. It'll be an actual text box. All right. Okay, so yeah, if he finds a spell, he's like, fascinating, somebody scrawled a spell on this wall, and then he gets something. Seriously? I haven't even made his yet? Ugh. What about uh, Zane? Nope. Gurr? I thought that he... Uh, said something about, like, a ghost or something? Man, this is not organized how I remember. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess I'll just have to go from memory. So Solmer, his passive ability is, yeah, I don't know, maybe something to do with elemental damage or something. Zane's uh, passive ability is he can see ghosts and talk to them, so depending on where you go, you might be able to go back and with Zane and speak to ghosts about tips or something. Uh, maybe you can even go back to uh, areas where you've defeated the bosses and, um, you know, talk with their ghosts and maybe get some interesting tips on, I don't know. Also, eventually you go to the, like, underworld and he's the one who lets you go there because apparently... I don't know if you remember the last video, but you fight Duke and you kill him and the king gets really mad because apparently he needed to learn something from the Duke, so you have to go to the underworld to ask him. Anyway, Zane helps you there. And this is Archie, short for Archibald. He's like apparently supposed to be the comic relief and also the healer. It's a little weird that you get him so late if he's the healer. I don't know if these are in order of when you get them. Uh, I have no ideas on his personality or why he's supposed to be funny, but, I mean, he looks silly, I guess, so. Anyway, uh, his mechanic is going to be different as well. Um, I mentioned this before, but the whole point of this final quest thing was to kind of branch out of the norm of RPGs and do things that I thought were interesting. And so in this case, instead of having a weapon, like I said with Solmer, instead of having a weapon, he has like an onk which he just sort of throws to his um, friends and heals them a little bit each turn instead of doing any damage. And so I thought that would be kind of fun. I also thought it would be fun if the ultimate boss of the Underworld was Death himself. And if you killed Death, he dropped a Death Scythe, <coughs> and the Scythe just did a ton of damage and Zane could wield it. Or you could take the Scythe to Archie's church and, like, I don't know, dip it in holy water or do some sort of ritual or whatever and it would turn into a pink scythe and basically it would just be a weapon that he wielded <coughs> that healed tons of hit points each turn and could even like bring you back to life <laughs> so if you died he just as a attack action on his turn he could just 
hit you with his pink scythe and bring you back to life. So I thought that'd be pretty funny. This is a little weird to me. I think I might have lost uh, some of, like, one of my updates on this game because I swear I drew Nick and the Ranger. Okay, well, there's Nick's walkabout animation, but I swear I drew his hero animation, but maybe not. Um, question mark, question mark, question mark is the Ranger and you choose his name for him and I thought it'd be funny if it's like if they're like who are what's your name and he's like some have called me Legolas some have called me Link or like I don't know just some stereotypical names that you might name a ranger in your party or something or Aragorn or something and anyway his special ability was uh you um that little eye icon right there, that shows up at secret areas, and so you can locate secrets better. Nick is an alchemist, and uh, his ability was like throwing potions, and uh, yeah, he, he, maybe some sort of mechanic where the more you know, the more times he did stuff, the like they were really powerful at first, but then they got diluted over time, kind of like chemicals, I don't know. And then I had the idea to make a catapult hero, which was basically not a hero, but like on one part you have a catapult that, you know, destroys some, like, destroys some castle walls. And then this is Rax, which is a guy who turns into a bear. I just thought that would be funny for the sole reason of having, uh, this animation right here where he is normal and he turns into a bear to attack and then turns back. I thought that would be funny, I guess. So I don't know what that was all about, but you can see the catapult animation right here, flinging this payload here. It gets all scratched up when it's weak, which is funny, and then it falls apart. Um, here's some animations that have never been seen before. The Solmer and uh, Zane, which are pretty fun. He Zane kind of turns undead as he's dying, which is funny, and then he rots. And Archibald gets a little halo when he dies, which is funny, I guess. He prays for his cast animation. Um, we've seen all of these enemies, I think. Let's see. Oh, this is funny. This is a... Uh, if you've played World of Warcraft, it's a Earthbind totem, and it's an invisible enemy that basically just makes it so you can't run away. So that's kind of a funny in-joke that only editors will ever know. Uh, there's a vampire, targets, oh, there's different elementals. So you got, oh yeah, this is very much like Heroes too because they're all shaped like Earth elementals. Fire elemental, lightning elemental, and ice elemental, or water, or whatever. Kind of fun. Some kind of rogue wizard, apparently. Maybe he's in the Badlands. I don't know what other Badlands things we missed out on, but... Then you got a serpent, a cobra, furnace imp, troc, will o' the wisp. Oh, yeah, apparently you could slice the uh, soldier out, and then he would fight for you, which would be kind of fun. There's Drekki. Drekki, if you grab the orb, his eyeball. Him when he's in the shadow casting form. And then the big ones, we got the big special soldiers. Truck champion, truck queen, sleeping truck champion. Bear, wyvern. Hmm. Yep. Got all those. Probably saw all the attacks. Those weren't, I didn't put much effort into those because, you know, the whole graphics aspect. Oh, here's some spells of, well, maybe we can look those up real quick afterwards. Here's some weapons. We got a rock club of some kind that the Trop champion apparently was going to drop. Here's some glowing hands of Salmer, different elemental types. And then depending on what kind of damage of casting spell he did, that would be different. So that's kind of fun. Morning star of some kind. Let's look at some attacks real quick. Frost blast. Pretty interesting that we didn't see. Oh yeah, mana cut. I guess that deals damage directly to their MP, but that's a little weird. 
Uh, try blast. It does lightning, ice, and fire damage. Wow, that does not look good. I thought it would look, you know, like three elements circling each other, but that just looks like they're switching places, which looks really bad. Fireball, icicle. Yeah, nothing interesting here. Oh, rainbow, which I think is light and frost damage, which I thought was clever. Uh, what's that? Oh. Interesting. Regrowth. Dark hand, that's kind of cool. That was obviously one of uh, Zane's main attacks, maybe. Drag attack. Shadow bolts are pretty sweet. Overpowered, but uh, any interesting items? Probably not. Cheat kit, interesting. A kit that allows you to get items, that's funny. Oh, and it just opens a text box. I'll have to look at that in a sec. Yeah, nothing very interesting in terms of... Oh, I guess there's a bow down there for the ranger. U bow, but I didn't really program it at all. As for everything else, uh, not really much interesting there. Are there any of these that I missed? Douglas, Barnsley, Ferdinand, Otis, Lydia. Let's see. I'm gonna go from the end back. Or, ew, that's a creepy dracky. Uh, agate ring, never found that apparently. It's interesting to see what order I made these. Uh, Oh, okay, yeah, see. Okay, so Gray Man's Night is my friend and I's, my friends and mine, um, like, fantasy equivalent of Halloween that we made up. So I thought I'd put it in this game. But if you are if you are Zane, and you talk to that child who's running around town, then he says, hey, Mr. Nice Gray Man's Night costume. Grr, mommy. So that's kind of funny. Uh... Okay, so apparently I. You yeah, obviously have no reason to be here. You best leave. Okay, yeah, interesting. And the fist amulet, yep, it doesn't actually get that, so I'm gonna fix that right now. Where is it? Amethyst. There it is. Add one amethyst and get there. That's fixed at least. Uh, okay, far, as far as these appearances go, yeah, see, these need to be bumped up a little bit before some other madman tries to steal it. That's what he said. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know who Draki is. I just sort of made him up and decided I'd make the kind of fill in the plot cracks later, you know? So I'm sure he's some lackey of some bigger dark lord or something, and that eye has a story to it or something, but you open your cheat kit. Oh, okay, and it has a... Apparently it has a shop, weapons vault, and it has just all of these interesting things to try out, I guess. Oh, vampire hand for a... Zane. Anyway, honestly, I'm impressed that you have watched this video this long, because it's mostly just me, like, praising my own work and rambling on and stuff, but, uh, oh, okay, look, there's some interesting stuff here with the, uh, this is when I was trying to sort of sideways add the ranger. Oh, never mind. Oh, I'm an idiot. Thought that the question marks were the ranger. Never mind. Uh, peasant. Blah blah blah. Portal core. Let's see. Yep. I 
nothing interesting there either. And I believe that's it. I mean, there's like music and stuff, but... Oh, the elemental rooms. What did they sound like? Ah, that's pretty, that's pretty, uh, yeah, I like that. Oh, that's from Zelda when the, uh, dungeon's collapsing, I like that. Oh yeah, got that already, Grand Fort. Academy. Theme. Oh, is this? Oh, okay. That was supposed to be Drakki's theme, but I didn't even notice it. It wasn't very catchy. So that is Final Quest. Um, oh well. Okay, let's look at the maps real quick. Okay, so that's Duke's Dungeon, Throne Room, Courtyard. Oh, so yeah. See, for example, when I mentioned the Ranger earlier. Why did I make all this like detailed stuff on the outside of the moat? You never step, you never set foot there. Oh, that's funny, a sewer pipe. Um, yeah, that's kind of an excess of detail. But anyway, so if you're the, um, you know, if you're the ranger, it doesn't even look like I have this set up correctly, but basically there's, you know, there's supposed to be a flashing eye here because there's a secret on this wall where you push that up and then there's a little pathway that leads behind there and then you go over here and you find this chest which I'm guessing has a agate ring in it is that what it oh the oh found crusader okay so that's actually a cool ability that you learn uh, I think it like maybe heals you or something, or does light damage. Anyway, so yeah, the ranger with the ranger you can go back to old areas and find secrets, which is kind of fun. Uh, shops, dark zone, gray crown castle, crown town, tavern, kingdom crossroads, adventures guild. Oh yeah, see? Here's the Mage's Guild. <laughs> it's pretty bad. I could have at least made them staggered so you could kind of see them off each other. But yeah, this looks pretty bad, honestly. Like, I don't know how I can make this look any good, but that was my best attempt at making the Lightning Realm. Darkenshire, Emerald Lowlands. Never ended up making this, but I did make a tile set, apparently. Where everything was, like, blindingly bright. Ugh. Apparently, palm trees was their uh, um, type of trees here. So that's funny. I don't think that's what a, is, I guess that's what a lowlands are. Like down by sea level, there's gloomy glade, the groob, Grey Crown Academy, the woods, the badlands. Kraros Desert, never went there. Oh yeah, see, I really like how I did that hideout where it just had like staircases and stuff. It's just way easier than wiring together a ton of doors like I did on the groove and stuff, but anyway. Some caverns that lead to the Badlands, and that's it. So unless there's some sort of uh, interesting thing I missed here, probably isn't. Oh. That's Salmer's uh, screen when it explains what he does and everything, but I haven't done anybody else's, so I don't even remember how I, like, what the process was for that in terms of photoshopping it, so we'll call it there. Thanks a lot, you guys. I honestly, like, really, I'm really surprised that you watched this far, so <laughs> this is mostly for my own fun, so I'm glad that you joined me along the way. Uh, if you learned something about game design or were inspired by something, uh, great. But um, 
Yeah, I that does it for all my OHRPGs, really. Uh, I mean, there's a couple random other ones that are unfinished and stuff, but I'm probably not going to look at them too closely. I am working on Wormy, like a new version of it that's leaps and bounds better than the old ones uh, with my friend currently. We'll see how far that goes. I might make another video on that later, but uh, for now, um, we'll call that series done. Uh, thanks for looking at these OHRPGs with me, and uh, I will see you next time.